Hello and welcome to the second episode of Servarium Gun Reviews. In this episode we're going to take a look at L85A2. Rare L85A2 is tier 4 assault rifle, capable of high damage over a decent distance. L85A2's damage is moderate, killing a target with light equipment and medium equipment in 4 shots and targeted heavy equipment in 5 to 6 shots. With the exception of one headshot hit, and one shot in any body part which could take down every opponent regardless their equipment type. Its range is good for an assault rifle, able to kill targets in medium and medium long ranges easily. Rate of fire is good, being in the middle of its class, but still worse than every SMG in the game, not being great on close distance or close quarters. Recoil is vertically going up and is very predictable, but increasing. The best way to avoid recoil is to shoot in bursts of 2 or 3 rounds, keeping great accuracy even on long distances. Its aiming time is the same as every assault rifle, being 0.3 seconds, which makes the player capable for very quick reactions. The weapon has 10% slowdown, being very good to use with medium armor without sacrificing much speed. Its capacity is great, 30 rounds, capable of making up to 5 kills if accurate, and scoring no headshots. Its reload speed is moderate, being 3 seconds if filling the whole magazine and 2.2 seconds if refilling the magazine with at least one bullet still inside. Its good stopping power, 40%, is great for eliminating targets in short bursts without sacrificing much accuracy and keeping the target paralyzed, but only for a brief moment. L85A2 uses two round types. 556 by 45 mm NATO rounds, which can penetrate wood or rounds of the same caliber, but armor piercing, which can penetrate steel. It has three modes of firing, semi-automatic, good at long distances, burst mode, good at medium long and medium distances, and full auto mode, good at medium distances. The gun also has a wide spectrum of attachments, if craving for less recoil, Vertical grip and muzzle brake horizontal are your choice. The best choice of sight depends on your build, but sniping is great even when using the collimator. If feeling sneaky, you can upgrade the gun with suppressor, avoiding detection from other players. You may upgrade the gun by using spare parts. The best upgrade choices are recoil and first 3 shots recoil, making the gun almost immune to any recoil without using attachments. The distance or fire rate upgrades are also great for a close or medium distance. Looking at the weapon as a whole, it has a massive advantage in recoil, which can be fully nulled with the attachments and recoil upgrades, becoming the laser gun every noob loves. Right next to the recoil there is the distance. It is able to eliminate snipers from a long distance with no sweat. The fire rate of the gun makes it better to use in open areas not close quarters, easily being beat by shotguns or SMGs. There is also a premium version of L85A2 being slightly better in damage, slowdown and distance, not changing the hit count for eliminating opponents and being slightly lighter than the rare version of it. If you liked the review, be sure to like the video, if you didn't, tell me what you didn't like so I can improve on that. And another thing would be sharing the video, maybe even subscribing. Next time we will be reviewing PM aka Makaro Pistol. Thanks for watching.